Capricorn is power and light. Tarot coming at you with the reading. Capricorn, this is going to be your own reading, right? And this is going to be uh, not necessarily a love reading, but it could be. So let's see what happens. If it turns into a love reading, because you're so lovey-dovey, Capricorn, you are, right? Yeah. I know a couple of Capricorns that are super lovey-dovey. Um, yeah, I do. And uh, <laughs> uh, not lovey-dovey with me, but lovey-dovey in general. Yeah. And uh, let's see. But if it turns into a love reading, we're going to have an extended reading all about your person. But your extended reading will be your advice and your future as well. So it's going to be kind of a cool spread. Let's see what we got. Yeah, doing it a little different. Show me the energy for Capricorn, please, for Capricorn. Capricornio, the magician. So this guy is a salesman, and, you know, he has his hands in his pocket. You know, they say when people have their hands in their pockets, they're kind of tricksters. Like they're hiding something. It's like... It has to do with body language and psychology, right? Love body language and psychology because it's really real. So if the people are running things and you're looking at them and they look like they're kind of, you know, you have to read a book on uh, on that. You do. But, you know, sometimes you could just tell straight up. You don't have to read anything. But it sure does help because I've read a couple. And this guy has his hands in his pocket like he's full of bullshit, like he's hiding something or pushing something down kind of. Like in, like uh, you know, in his spirit, or in you know, and he's selling this wash machine. You could, you maybe you think you're dealing with a trickster, Capricorn. Maybe you are one. All right, you could be one because you know, you guys are the devil, right? What can I say? Just teasing, guys. Um, <laughs> I'm just having fun today, you guys, a little bit, right? Yeah. But this guy, he's like, you know, the salesman. I used to say the salesman is full of baloney, right? They're like, especially if you're a woman, you're going to get your car fixed, right? They always tell you it's two thousand dollars and it's really twelve hundred. Uh, yeah, I just had this conversation kind of with my daughter because she needs to go to the dentist. I go be careful because. I went to a dentist one time and he told me I needed all these implants and I don't have one implant in my mouth and that was, you know, 15 years ago. So <laughs> so somebody could be a trickster here. It could be an Aries though, right? Let's see what else we have for Capricorn. Please, let's look at Capricorns. Capricorn. And we have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is somebody who really takes care of their stuff. They're determined. They take care. They have uh, expensive project, uh, expensive objects. Uh, this could be you, Capricorn, because you are the sign of abundance. Maybe you take really good care of your things. The Page of Pentacles. Let's look at the magician and see what else they have to say. We see this little, we see this guy. He looks like he's, the look on his face is so fake. Like, you know, you know he's trying to make this fake look right, of excitement and happiness, right? It's kind of like when you take a picture, you know, and you're like, come on, try to look, you know, awake, right? <laughs> And the magician, the number one, yeah. <coughs> Illusions, deception, and charm. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> New and improved, hassle-free, money-back guarantee. These are the promises of the magician. A charismatic salesman with all the answers to life's little problems. Unfortunately, these sales pitches are only half-truths. After all, roast is only as good as the cook who prepares it. So don't be fooled by unsmooth talkers and psychophants. Wow, I have never really looked up what a psychophant is, right? It has something to do with uh, uh, psychology or psychopaths, right? For sure. If something sounds too good to be true, it probably is. You could be worried here. Somebody's like pulling the wool over your eyes, Capricorn. Maybe you're doing it. Page of Pentacles about somebody who really takes good care of their things. It could be somebody who is maybe a little determined. Let's see what else we have for the page of Pentacles. Possessions, determination, and fastidiousness. Somebody by me might be really meticulous and picky. That's what it's about. Meticulosa. Fastidiosa. That's how they say it in Spanish, right? So let's see what else we have for... Uh, and let's see how, we see how you're seeing yourself, Capricornia. Yeah, I'm doing these readings a little different. I want to see how you see yourself, all right? You should be seeing yourself as... A star. A star is born, right? Let's see what we got. <laughs> For Capricorn, have this Capricorn. Maybe you're seeing yourself as this trickster Capricorn. Maybe. I mean, no digs, but, you know, sometimes we, we do these things in life, right? We're, none of us are perfect, right? Yeah. Let's see what we got. <laughs> but I feel like you think you're dealing with somebody like that, right? Yeah, the guy's trying to sell... Uh, a dryer, a wash machine, or a dryer. Yeah, in those days they were hilarious, right? Yeah, let's see what we got for uh, for uh, Capricorn, please. 
You're seeing yourself as a Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this is, we, we know you are the Knight of Pentacles. And you, here's the page here. These are both you. And the Seven of Wands, you're overwhelmed. Okay, or you're defending yourself in some way, or you are resisting something. You could maybe you're resisting somebody who think is a player. All right, this guy cracks me up. He looks like uh, Pee Wee Herman. You guys remember Pee Wee Herman? Yeah, he was supposed to be representing kids' shows, but he was like a pervert. Can you believe it? Yeah. So let's see what we got. <laughs> uh, yeah, he used to have that show, which was a little bit funny, but, you know, they saw him at the movie theater, uh, and, you know. And you know what? Maybe it wasn't true, so I shouldn't say that because they lie about so many things. But they that's what they said about him, that he was, you know. Yeah, I'm not sure it's true, you guys. Even though it looks really true, they lie so much. Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he didn't really do that. They really lie, especially when you're making a lot of money. Uh, those people who are running uh, the show, you know, with the entertainment, those guys are shady as hell. Running the music business, too. Trust me. You don't even want to be there. No. You have the Five of Swords. Yeah, so I should I retract that statement. Yeah, for sure. All right, maybe, maybe he was a good guy. Who knows? Uh, but, you know, this guy does look like him, though. Okay, that part I can't retract. All right, let's see what we got, you guys. <laughs> you might be going, that was my that was my hero power. Like, leave me alone, all right? You're being mean again, all right? Yeah, you are. <laughs> Some people think I'm mean, so you're seeing yourself as overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, they go, why? Once somebody said, how come your reading is negative? Always negative. Capricorn's readings are always good, and so are Sagittarius's. And uh, I just did Aries reading. It was a really good reading. So was Virgo. So, so, boo. Let's see what we got, you guys. <laughs> Let's see. So, five of Swords in the reverse. Okay. And it is showing up with the Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I feel like you are looking at something, how something's going to turn out here. Like, you don't know. Yeah, this could be why you're overwhelmed here. You're not trusting somebody here, this magician, right? This car salesman, or he's an appliance salesman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so see, maybe you're dealing with Aries, though, for sure. The emperor is showing up in your highest expectations. So in your heart of the matter, it looks like some despair. Or maybe... You know, it could be here, the influencing energy. You could be looking at something, maybe thinking it's going to turn out like there's going to be sabotage. You're not trusting something for sure. Uh, you're not, Capricorn. All right? Yeah. Definitely. That is clear. Let's see why the Five of Swords is there for Capricorn. With the Fool card. So it could be Aries for sure. The Magician, the Emperor, and the Fool card, right? Yeah, we just haven't seen the King of Wands. That's about it. But there could be definitely Aries here. But it doesn't matter. You're not trusting some... I feel like it doesn't matter. It could be any sign. But my point about this is that you're not trusting a new adventure. I feel like you're not. Or if you're taking a chance on something, you're concerned here how it's going to turn out. I feel like you're overwhelmed about it. All right? This is how you're seeing yourself. Mm -hmm. Or in some type of... Uh, uh, maybe competition here, right? Where you're wearing a green outfit here, and uh, you know, but your shoes slipping off over here. Look at the boot over here. It's high, and over here it's really low. So you're having a hard time here. I don't think this is a physical, uh, a physical uh, competition or a tournament. I don't. Okay. <laughs> oh God. Okay. Let's see. What we have for Capricorn. Let's see why that Seven of Pentacles is there. You could be thinking if, if I take a chance on something, it could end up like in despair or sabotaged. But I feel like you're in chaos and conflict over a situation because you're not trusting it. Nine of Wands, no, for sure you're not trusting it. You're thinking what's going to happen in the end, especially uh, next to the five, Seven of Swords. They're both kind of uh, Seven of Pentacles. They're both looking at like, like I wonder what's going to happen here. And that's what the Sevens are about. And here is the Nine of Wands, a wounded warrior. I've already been through a whole mess here. 
and now I'm not sure what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And energy is coming into play. Four of Cups. Wow. Queen of Wands. This is Aries Leo or Sag. Mm -hmm. I mean, this could be you rejecting them to walk a new path. This this energy, I feel like, could be about more than two people. It could be, but because it looks a little complex here. But this could be here. Uh, Capricorn, uh, this has to do with a uh, fire sign for sure, Aries Leo or Sag. And, you know, energy is coming into play. Maybe somebody's going to reject somebody to walk a new path with you. This is what I'm not clear about. Why is this page of wands there? This could just be unhappiness. And you could be walking at your own new path to be with, you know, this queen of wands here. Sagittarius is showing up here and the king of wands and the two of pentacles. I'm going to take it because they all turned flipped, right? So maybe they want to, maybe they want to be there, right? You kind of, right? You usually don't take so many cards, but could be here. I feel like what's coming into play is you're wondering if somebody maybe is walking away from somebody. Like in a new direction, change a page of wands. I feel like you are wondering that. Maybe a person's with somebody else. Okay, Capricorn, because you're a player, right? You, Capricorn, you are the biggest player in the, in the Zodiac. Just teasing, guys. You guys could be going, I'm going to... I'm going to turn this reading off. <laughs> no, it's Sagittarius is known, and I'm a Sag. You're known as the biggest players they are. Yeah. Can you believe that? That's not fair. Even though we have the, the, the angel here. What's up with that, right? I can't believe anything you read anyway. <laughs> uh, go get the book, Virus of the Mind. Go, go order it online. If you want to know uh, how they're trying to change our whole lives, and it's... As they're trying to reorganize society. All right, go get that book, you guys. Don't make any comments here about it. Thank you so much, you guys, for not doing that. All right. Yeah. They want to change humanity. And not, none of it's good. Okay, so let's get back to the reading, you guys. Lover's card reversed, Capricorn. This is uh, energy's leaving you. But let's look at your highest expectations, the emperor. Okay. Let's look at the highest expectations. Emperor, highest expectations here. Four of Swords. <coughs> Moon card, highest expectations. I feel like you have doubts here. You're seeing yourself this way, Capricorn, right? Maybe you have to push somebody off, or I just feel like you're overwhelmed here. Maybe you feel like you have to fight. You have this... Five of Wands could be fighting here. But I feel like you have doubts here about this magician. Yeah, somebody's trying to sell you a washing machine here. But, you know, it's really a... a mm, they're trying to sell you, you know, this really nice wash machine, but I feel like it's a, it's something else. Mm -hmm. It could be a hand sanitizer, right, instead. <laughs> instead of a dishwasher. <laughs> you could be going, what the hell, right? Somebody put Capricorns are honest. Yeah, I feel like they, I feel like most people are, but well, not all. But uh, but in this reading, I feel like you're fearing you're fearing somebody's being deceptive. That's what you that's what you're overwhelmed about. Mm -hmm. Whoever this person is, I feel like they're a King of Wands. The King and the Queen are both here. Omg, Sagittarius is here. Maybe you're wondering if they're walking away from a Sag. Maybe you're wondering if they're walking a new path with you, and they have a Sag or something like that. Doesn't even have to be a sad, but it isn't. It is a fire sign for sure. Sorry about my ugly voice, uh, Capricorn. It's really ugly. All right, I'll be the first to say it. So let's see what we got. Sounds like I've been smoking cigarettes uh, for days on end here. No, I haven't smoked a cigarette. I don't like cigarettes. No, I don't. So let's see what we got. And the world card. This is your highest expectations. I feel like you have fear. I feel like you want a new beginning with somebody. You could be fearing if... I just feel like you're like you're fearing here that... There could be a water sign here. You're fearing here, though, if you're going to heal a situation with somebody. I feel like you are. Four of Swords. Like you have doubts about it. 
Yeah, you do. You have doubts about whether or not you're going to have a new cycle with somebody. I feel like that's it. Two of Wands down here. I mean, Two of Pentacles going back and forth. Yeah, you want to know if they're selling you a pipe dream. That's what that is. All right? Yeah, with the wash machine here. Mm -hmm. You're like, is that really a, a wash machine you're trying to sell me? Because for me, it looks like, you know, uh, like a little manicure set here. It's some type of uh, electronic mani uh, manicure set. <laughs> it's only going to clean my fingers. It's not going to wash my clothes, you ass. Okay, let's see what we got. The lover's card. OMG. Energy's leaving you. Two of Cups, lovers, Queen of Pentacles. This is uh, you, Capricorn. And the Seven of Swords. Energy's leaving you. There was some type of sneaky energy here uh, about uh, somebody you're in love with, Two of Cups. It could be about a choice. Maybe somebody made a sneaky energy. Maybe somebody told you they're making a decision to leave somebody for some of you guys. And it's leaving you. And it could be to leave somebody, it could be to escape somebody, because you're, you're thinking about a new path here with somebody. Uh, let's get another card on this energy is leaving you. This is you, definitely. You could have, maybe they made a choice to be with you, to escape somebody. Seven of Swords. Maybe you're not buying it, right? You guys know what I mean by buying it, right? Like, believing in it. Yeah, don't buy what they're doing either. It's, no. High Priestess, you guys, showing up. I don't mean your person when I said that. High Priestess card showing up here, you guys. This is the energies leaving you. Hierophant. Wow, looks like somebody left their marriage maybe with... You know, I feel like you could be a secret here. You could, you might be a third party. You're wondering if they're leaving their marriage. Could be. Or maybe if they're telling you the truth about a choice they have made. Could be a Gemini here with this lover's card. There's a lot of people. Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, any fire sign. Cancer's over here. Yeah. So let's look at energies coming soon to a theater of Capricorn yeah nine of swords you're worried OMG you're worried if somebody's gonna become single here nine of Pentacles or this could be your person maybe they're leaving and maybe they're leaving here they're becoming single and they're worried about it somebody's married here here fin card ten of cups or in a marriage type situation yeah Capricorn You've been running around, all right? Was it what they call that song? Uh, something about Sue, Wild Sue. That's you, Capricorn. <laughs> uh, you get to, you get to give Sagittarius a break. Right? I've already read in in like two different like sources. I think it was three. A Sagittarius is the Don Juan of the horoscope. <laughs> Or Don Juana, yeah, like the, the player, the, the Casanova of the horoscope. I'm like, what? That's not true. We love good and hard, but if somebody screws with us, we're like, well, it's okay. Because, you know, I'll get somebody else. <laughs> Let's get back to the reading, all right, yeah. And, uh, okay, the devil card is, uh, yeah, this is energies coming uh yeah, I put this card with this. Yeah, I did. I feel like I did, but it doesn't matter. This energy is coming soon. You have fear here, Capricorn, about whether or not somebody's going to be single. Yeah, you don't, you're not buying it here, the magician. You're like, you're trying to sell me a pipe dream, you MF. <laughs> uh, you guys know I don't swear a lot, but I do say MF sometimes. <laughs> so let's see, Three of Pentacles here. No need to swear. You can paint the picture with prettier words. I feel like you can. No digs, though, on anybody who wants to swear. Two or three of pentacles, you guys. This is how other people are affecting you. Page of pentacles. Justice reverse. This could be they're getting a divorce. You see, somebody's married. And some of these read, yeah. Could be a Libra showing up, too. This is how they are affecting... This is how other people are affecting you. 
This could be they're going to come work on things with you and have a new start, and they could be getting a divorce. Justice reversed. I feel like your person told you they're getting a divorce. Or they're leaving somebody. Or if they didn't tell you straight up, they were totally alluding to it. Maybe testing you out, right? People do that all the time. Especially if they're going to leave a situation. They want to know if you're going to be around. So other people are affecting you. Seven of Cups. You could be confused if they're going to get a divorce. Yeah, you're not... T Capricorn. This is like the best reading, so I don't know why it's the best reading. Because it's... I don't know. It's totally like layered and... It's interesting, I guess. It's compelling, I guess, right? But for you, Capricorn, you're seeing yourself this way. Seven of Wands. So for you, maybe it's not that great. But you're in love with somebody here, for sure. You're not buying their bullshit. So maybe... Or you're not sure, Right? I feel like you're overwhelmed because you don't know if they're selling you a pipe dream or not. You could, they could make you feel confused here. They could, how they are affecting you, they could have told you they're getting a divorce, justice reverse, and that they made a really hard choice to do it. That could be those energies, right? Yeah, these cards can paint a lot of stories. They can, you guys. It's my tough job to, you know, be, uh, yeah, this job's underpaid, you guys. <laughs> I feel like people, for people who are running things, it's completely overpaid, right? These people don't know squat, but uh, except, you know, deception. And the Six of Pentacles showing up, you guys. Uh, <laughs> and this is how you are affecting other people, Capricorn. Please don't make any comments on that either, because they're looking to, uh, you can't say anything. Six of Pentacles. And let's see what else we got, guys. Five of Pentacles here. Wow. This is how you are affecting other people. I feel like you're making them leave somebody out in the cold, Capricorn. Wow. Your hopes and fears, Capricorn, is the seven, is the five of wands and the hermit. This is your hopes and fears. You're fearing here, like, nobody hopes for challenges. You're fearing here, you're soul searching. You're hoping they're telling you the truth. The hermit looks for the truth. That's why he's shining the light, right? He's like, he's soul searching. He's willing to stay home and, look, and not shave his beard so he could figure out the truth, right? Yeah, don't, don't send any hermits my way. I like Virgos, but I don't like anybody who looks like that, you guys. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't even like guys who have ponytails. Sorry, guys. That's my old-fashioned way here. <laughs> I guess it is. <laughs> my son has one now, and, you know, he's a really cute guy. He used to always have a really cute fade. Now he has this long hair, and he, he looks so uncared for. You know, like he just rolled out of bed in the morning. And, you know, he's he's married to somebody. And I'm thinking, God, how does she, is she really attracted to him anymore? Uh, he's not listening, though, thank goodness, because, you know, he'll clobber me. But the hopes and fears, Capricorn, for you, you're hoping that, that you know, that you're this is not going to challenge you, right? That it's not going to, like, I feel like you're hoping that they're, like, possibly telling you the truth here and not putting you through challenges yes that's what you're hoping for so we're going to see in the extended capricorn all about your person we are that's going to be an ex excellent reading yeah i have to say I, just, I i'm not trying to be conceited you guys but i i feel like it is so uh we're going to end the reading there i just i want to see what it has to say right and we're going to look at your future and your advice yeah we are capricorn we're giving advice now, okay, guys, but with a disclaimer, of course, right? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to see the underlying energies between you guys, how they feel about you, Capricorn, what you don't know about them. Yeah, what they could be hiding. And you know they're trying to hide something. Here's the salesman trying to sell you this wash machine, right, when you think it could be a manicure set. Yeah, an automated manicure set. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, we're going to see what they could be hiding, your advice, and as, as I said, your future. They're all super affordable. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you so much, and thank you so much for never making any comments about, you know, about anything else besides love, love, love. Go get that book, uh, Virus of the Mind. Thank you so much, you guys. You can order it online.